Hey, me and my wife love to cruise, but onboard credit, cruise cash, I have to do it. I have to do it. We're going to talk about that. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Vet Hat Travels and Eats. I'm Thomas, and you know my slogan. Wherever I'm at, I got my hat. But what I want to talk to you about real quickly is cruise cash or onboard credit. Um, a lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like it. But here's why I like it. And this may be a good tip for first time cruisers or cruisers who never really utilized the onboard credit. Me and my wife, when we prepare for a cruise, let's say a year out, if I uh, schedule a cruise, we're paying on it, you know, monthly or whatever, however long it takes. But as I'm paying on the cruise, I'll add a little bit to the onboard credit. You know, $50 here, $75 here, maybe $100 here, whatever. So when it's time to cruise, I'm stepping on that boat already in the positive, not the negative. And I'll tell you why. When they bring you that first drink, that first drink, if you don't have the onboard credit or the cruise cash, you're already paying for that like then with somebody that utilizes the, the onboard credit or the cruise cash. See, you, you have, you've already paid for it. Now, I'm not telling you how much to put on there, but me and my wife usually put about $600 down on uh, cruise cash. Reason being is because we're not heavy drinkers. Okay. We're not heavy drinkers. I'm not going to buy that uh, 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 drink package because we don't drink that much. And I've heard a lot of people complain that they get the drink package, but they don't drink as much as they should to get the worth of it. So I suggested to them cruise cash or the onboard credit because it's already paid for. And it's nothing like uh, waking up on that last day, that last morning that you get up and you get ready to get off the boat. You know, they have that bill for you or they have it on the TV or whatever. And it says zero old or your bill is already paid in full it's easier it's easier and it doesn't take a lot to put a couple of extra dollars as you're paying on your monthly you know or however you pay your cruise off just send something to the cruise cash so by the time you get to the boat it's already taken care of and with the cruise cash you know you can you utilize it in the casino you can utilize it at the bar uh, one of the specialty restaurants or uh, excursions. Now, the uh, shore excursions, I do suggest that you get those early as well. Because, see, now that cruising is almost 90% back to normal, if not 100%, these things uh, fill up very easily. So when you get to the boat and you try to uh, purchase a particular shore excursion that you were looking at for four and a half months, and now you get to the ship and it's sold out. Get it early. Get it early. And that's what I suggest to everybody. Get stuff early. Get it done early. What is that saying? The early bird catches the worm. This is one of those cases. So I don't know how you feel about cruise cash, but I love it. Me and my wife use it all the time. Um, or, or, you know, we, 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 we have less stress on that last day because, you know, usually there are two frustrating days on a cruise vacation that first day because you, you, you're frustrated trying to get to the ship whether well, you may have uh, uh, problems at the airport problems with your luggage problems if you drive to the cruise port problems trying to find a parking spot or whatever that that could be frustrating within itself then on that last day the first frustrating part is you know you're leaving your friends you had a great time now it's back to reality but that bill that bill can be very frustrating. And all I'm saying is you pay ahead of time. You know, you have less worries on that day. All right. That's all I have to say. Take care, everybody, and be safe. Cruise and enjoy life.